It may be hard to believe, just two months ago, parts of Swartz Creek was underwater. Everywhere was flooded besides like right here. My road goes uphill, our house is uphill, but the apartments over there and all over there, it was nothing but water everywhere. When the big rainstorm hit, actually, it was really bad down Morris Road and everything. It was terrible over there. Power lines went down and everything. So it was really crazy with all the flooding. Today, crisp grass from the scorching hot weather welcomes you into Swartz Creek. Now it's terrible. Now everything's drying out. All the flowers are dying and stuff, and they keep saying it's going to rain, and it's not raining yet here. Jacqueline Everett is one out of many people that is begging for rain, a wish that this time months ago was unheard of. But with temperatures like this, no rain, and eliminating a high water bill, there's not much to do about it. It's not like you can water the grass every day. The water ends up getting expensive after a while, but pretty much just got to bear with it. And exactly. Bear with it. I don't remember the last time it was this hot this in the summertime. Because next week will still be a hot one. In Swartz Creek, I'm Bridget Burnett for NBC 25 News.